spiritual path that uh, no book can really tell you. Things that you learn as you go along that you didn't think were possible previously or you just didn't know of. Um, there's something that I haven't shared in any of my videos uh, and only to a few very close friends and um, I'll hint at them now. I, I know where I'll go, hopefully not soon, but I know where I'll go when I die. I've seen it. It hasn't been described to me in a book. It hasn't been told to me by somebody. It has been something that has been implanted in me, has been shown to me. Um, and I'm very happy for it because this is what I see when I thank uh, the Divine Mother Kalima for food and uh, when I bow to her and uh, when I recognize God as well. Um, you know, the gods being uh, pieces of the one. Uh, the one God uh, that everything is a part of. Um, I, I wanted to reiterate that. I don't believe that there's just gods. I believe that there are pieces, functions of one God that you can communicate with God through, kind of like uh, communicating through a secretary or a colonel to a general, something like that. And this this place always keeps me going. I, I know that I will go there, and I know that everything that I do here will be will be seen there. Uh, we don't have physical bodies on the astral plane, so we have these these bodies that are of light, but everything is is on display. Everybody can know who you are because there there are no lies on the uh the higher levels of the astral plane. you just are, and you work with others on the astral plane to be something better and then there it goes all the way up until the spirit beyond creation and you become one with the spirit beyond creation but uh, I'll give you a few details, and I can give all the details, but the place that I'm going to go after I die in this life, uh, and then I'll, of course I'll come back here because I'm not going to be enlightened in this life. I, just, I, I know it. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be in this place, but <clears throat> I see a uh, forest of light. Um, I see no animals. I see beings of light, of very white, bright light, uh, in human form, but elongated. And I see you know, glowing foliage, um, and I see all of this in the lap of the Divine Mother, which is a very large being of light that this forest is in the lap of. Uh, I won't describe all the details, but I, I've been given this image. It wasn't, it wasn't told to me by a human being, and it wasn't described in a book, but I, I've seen this. Um, and other people who know what I'm talking about as far as being, uh, discovering, uh, certain things along the spiritual path as far as where you're going to go and um, just learning about the uh, the grander multiverse at large. Um, there are things that nothing can really prepare you for. You just have to walk the path. Um, I this is one of the things that I that I really wanted to share. It just you know a few details and um, another thing I'd like to share is that we often start in places that we never really know we're going to end up on the spiritual path. I mean, I, I, I like to, I, I was in so much pain in, in my teenage years and I always wanted other people to be in pain. Uh, you know, I never, never raped or killed anybody, but I mean, I, I was, I was an asshole and I did a lot of, um, crimes and did a lot of messed up stuff. Um, but that was just based off of my reaction to being in pain. And now as I find myself on the spiritual path, I find that I understand pain much better. There became a point where I realized nobody can really understand what I'm going through. Um, it's not their fault. It's not other people's fault for what I'm going through. I, I'm just so obsessed with the idea that somebody could help me. And they're not helping me. And, well, at the time, and I was like, they're not helping me. Uh, and that's why I hate everybody. But eventually you come to a point where, after so much, you come to a point where you realize they, they can't understand. Nobody can understand. It's not their fault. They're going through their own things, but also, the, if you go through extreme experiences in your life, it's, it's not other people's fault for not being able to understand you. And then I developed compassion from that point, but um, I never thought I'd find myself on the spiritual path where I'm at. And, um, you know, the spiritual path takes twists and turns. This is why it's very important for you to find a spiritual path that doesn't tell you where you should be at this time or what you should believe exactly, because you have to have room to grow. And then at, when you grow as an individual, you'll find yourself so much so much more developed uh, in your life whatever in you know in periods and phases that um you simply 
didn't expect to be in. Um, I'm not, I'm not giving more than a few messages, but these messages are very dear to my heart. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share a few things with y'all, uh, about the spiritual path and, uh, kind of how I've seen where I'm going and, um, uh, that I didn't expect to end up here, uh, a devotee of the Divine Mother Kalima and, um, close to Odin as well. And, uh, that's pieces of the source of God, um, uh, as functions of God, separate functions, but the gods are more of pieces and functions than they are just separate from the, the source, just separate from God. I don't, I don't, I don't believe that anything is really separate. I think everything is a part of God. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been a little bit interesting. If you have any comments, any questions, shoot them down there in the comment section below, and uh, I will see you in the future.